Dude, till you keep it clean, what's going on? It's Engraving here with another video. And in this video, I'm here to share my post-game thoughts from the game from Saturday that we all watched uh, between the Ravens and the Browns. I don't know why it's so funny right now. I guess just everything going on with the Ravens. And, and again, these dudes are 9-5. and five. They 9-5. and five. They got all these issues, all these problems. That's why it's like being a Ravens fan, I always say you have to be crazy to be a Ravens fan. If other fans from other teams heard everything that we talk about, whether it be on here, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on Facebook, oh, Facebook I mean, that's a whole other story right there. But if fans of other teams heard the stuff that we be talking about and the issues that we be talking about with the team and didn't know our record, they'll probably think, man, Raven, Raven must have a losing record. But it's crazy because they don't. And right now, uh, well, I'm recording this before. I'm recording this on Sunday morning. So the Bengals and the Bucks haven't played. Go Bucks, even though I think the Bengals probably going to put up like 50 on them. I think it's going to be like 49 or 13, something like that. But either way, right now, if the playoffs started today, uh, the Ravens would be in. They would be in. Now, <laughs> as far as how far they would go, uh, it's to be determined. But they would be in. So, again, we as Ravens fans... When we critique the Ravens, when we speak about the Ravens, about this and that and the third, when we do that, it's not coming from a place of hate. It's not coming from a place of negativity. It's coming from a place of love and a, and a place that you, you see the potential with the team, but you feel like the potential of the team is not being reached. Now, yesterday especially, they had a backup quarterback in that they, were having, they had Tyler Huntley as their starter. He's not the starter. He's not Lamar Jackson. Cool. Okay. Whatever. So, again... I wasn't tripping off the fact that the Ravens did lose. I wasn't tripping off of that at all. But where I was tripping at was the way that they lost. The way that they lost. Because there were so many times where the Browns were like, Ravens, here, you take the game. We don't want it. We, we don't want no parts of this game. Y'all take it. We don't want to win it. But the Ravens were like, no, Browns, uh, it, it is, it's our pleasure. No, you take it. You keep it. We don't want it. And it was like, man, what, like, what is going on? What is happening? Usually, I would think, because there's, so there's so much stuff that we got to cover. I feel like this video might go on forever. I'm sure some people say that about every video. They're like, oh, man, every one of your videos goes on forever, buddy. Well, hey, well, I love you all for watching them, buddies. But anyway, um, let's start with coaching. Let's start with coaching. Um, very beginning of the game. First drive for the Ravens, I believe. All right, Ravens defense, they got... A three and out. All right, yeah, go defense. Woohoo, let's get it. Um, but then Ravens offense, they were driving down the field. I think J.K., he broke a long one. Um, but they got down to like the four-yard line, something like that. It was fourth and inches. And they decided they wanted to go for it. I, and I said it on the live stream, looking back, hindsight being 2020 for me, I still don't have a problem with them going for that. I, do not ha I did not have a problem with them going for it. I do not have a problem going for it in that situation. Had it been late in the game and the offense hadn't been moving, the offense had been struggling all game, then, I okay, don't go for it. Take the points. And, and I can understand how there was some, a lot of people say, oh, take the points, take the points, take the points. And I can understand, like, somebody even brought up, you're playing with a backup quarterback. You're playing with Tyler Huntley. It's been hard enough to, 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 to get points, so take those points. And I get that. I get that. So I can understand people that say take the points. In that situation, though, I didn't have a problem with them going for it. I didn't have a problem with the play call that they used to go for it because they did a fullback dive. And usually Pat Ricard is good for that. Like we have been talking about on here how we, use, we wish they used Pat Ricard more in the short running game. Not the passing game, but the short running game. Because to, to get a yard or two. To, to get in inches, like fourth and inches, man, like, come on now. And I know there were some people that actually felt like he got the first down, but it was a bad spot. I didn't think he got the first down, but, hey, it is what it is. But I didn't have a problem with that play call at all. I had no problem with the decision or anything. Um, now, uh, what I did have a problem with as far as coaching, like, there was some different situational stuff where it was just silly. Uh, there was one point where <laughs> – <laughs> These Ravens, boy, they will do it to you, man. These dudes, they called a timeout, and they came out from the timeout and still got to delay a game. It's like, how do you do that, man? How do you call a timeout and then come back from the timeout and still get a delay a game, man? How do you do that? Boy, you, you got to be crazy to love this team, man. You got to be crazy. It's, it's a different type of love, man. Um, They also, uh, what was Oh, there, there was... 
we, we saw Tyler Huntley getting his clap on sometimes. There were some times when the, the, the plays were coming in late. And there was even um, one of the fourth downs that they went for it, uh, the one that Prochet dropped. Oh, Prochet. Uh, yesterday was crazy because I'm like, the guys with the hands. Y'all the ones with the hands. And they were dropping. Now, Duvernay's dropped touchdown. It's okay that he dropped it because it was a penalty anyway. Um, it was a penalty on both teams offset, so it wouldn't have counted. But he still dropped it. Then Prochet with the drop on the fourth down. But anyway, on that fourth down that he dropped, they got that one off so late. They got it off super late. I was thinking, oh, boy. <laughs> Oof. And when you get it off late, it's like procrastinating, like doing stuff last minute. It don't come out as good as it could have come out if you would have got it uh, a little sooner. But that was that. But coaching, um, I know Greg Roman been a hot topic. Uh, Tyus Bowser, now, now he's deleted it. It's funny because we literally about – uh, out, an hour and a half ago, we did a video on the Tyus Bowser uh, Instagram story post where he was taking recording them pictures that saying Fire Greg Roman, the, the, the three the three papers that were on the ground, and he recorded them. They all said Fire Greg Roman. <laughs> Somebody in the comments section said Tyus Bowser probably wrote that, but no, nah, I'm sure he did. But anyway, um, he deleted it now. And I'm recording this an hour and a half later. After we made the video, he deleted it. Um, I don't know if you watched the video. You know, somebody told him about it, whatever. But Harbaugh got word. Harbaugh said, I know, I know they be watching. Harbaugh, you ain't slick, man. You ain't slick, my friend. But whatever, whether, whether somebody told Harbaugh, somebody told Bowser, whatever, he deleted it, so it's gone. But um, Greg Roman. Greg Roman is a hot topic from yesterday's, well, yeah, yesterday's game. When you're seeing this, the, the game will have been two days ago. Um, and it's crazy because the run game, it was working. It, and I, I always say it, man. Stop, stop, stop trying to discredit fans. People got to stop doing that. Don't try to discredit fans. Fans can see stuff too. Fans can recognize stuff too. Fans, just because a fan, whether they never played football before, whether they never played football in a collegiate level or a professional level, it does not mean that they don't know what they're talking about. It does not mean that they can't see stuff with their own eyes. It does not mean any of that. Stop trying to be like, oh, just because you, you, you're just a fan. You don't know nothing. Don't say that because it's not true. Fans see stuff too. They recognize stuff too. They realize stuff too. Stop trying to discredit fans. Fans are not stupid. They're crazy. We're crazy, but they're not stupid. Um, yesterday, run game was working like crazy. Run game was going off like crazy. Um, and it, it was like with the eye test, when you look at the run game, you see it's going off like crazy. With the numbers, you looked at the numbers, you see the run game's going off like crazy. They stopped using it like crazy. That was, that was crazy that they, they stopped running. And they, they just stopped using it consistently. I was thinking, all right, maybe it'll be one of them things where, uh, okay, if they come out, they, it, like, like the Bucks game, where they come out pass happy, then the second half, oh, they run that ball like crazy. Nope. No, the Ravens were very inconsistent. They had so many inconsistencies with the run game yesterday and, and the fact of, of how they used it. And it was working. It, it was working so much and so effectively. They put Drake as inactive, and I was like, whoa, okay, Drizzy Drake inactive? All right. But it didn't matter because J.K. was doing his thing. Gus was doing his thing. They were going crazy. Then the Ravens were like, mm, no thanks. We're done. No more of that. And it was like, what? What? So that was just wild. So shout out to the offensive line. Opening up all them running lanes. Shout out to them. They were doing great. But the Ravens were like, no, we're going to pass that ball. We're going to pass the ball. It just didn't make any sense. It, it, there's, and there's nothing that anyone can say to make that make any kind of sense. None. None. Um... Passing game, uh, Tyler Huntley. Ooh, boy, Tyler Huntley. Um, there, I mean, we know who his receivers are. Uh, we know who the offensive coordinator is. We know what the philosophy is. Um, but Tyler Huntley, he, he he shared his little part of the blame too. Here and there, um, there were some times when he he got to get rid of that ball, man. Got to throw it away. Got to throw it away better. Then there, there was some time where he took he took some like really bad sacks and really bad losses for yards. Whether he would run out of bounds or he got kind of hit out of bounds um, and he could have threw it away. 
uh, whether he was just holding on to the ball, waiting for somebody to come open. I said, oh, man. I said, now Tyler, like, oh, Lamar, this is what you go through. This is what you go through, Lamar, when you be holding the ball. You just be waiting, huh? Waiting for something to get open, waiting for somebody to come open. So Tyler got to experience that, that pain. But he, he took some really bad sacks yesterday. Really bad ones. Um, and it was a lot of the same stuff. They, they just couldn't push the ball down the field through the air. Um, sometimes with his receivers, they, they didn't really help him out too much. <laughs> oh, the game yesterday was crazy, man. It was crazy. Couldn't even get mad, man. Couldn't even get mad at it. But um, uh, the interception to Deshaun Jackson. Sean Jackson was like, I don't want no part of that ball. They was, it's like they, he was playing hot potato or something. When the ball came to him, he was ugh, ugh, yucky. That's gross. Like the ball had cooties and stuff, but he ain't. He, he could have extended a little more for it, helped out Tyler Huntley a bit. I think it, I, I thought it was a bad decision from jump, though, um, especially because there were times when it would be like third and long, um, and Tyler would throw like a, a short pass. You throw a short pass, and it's like, are, are we even really like really trying to move the chains? Are we trying to get the first? Like, even that play, that was like third and, I think, 10, something like that. I forgot what it was, but I really thought he was going to go to Mark Andrews. I thought he was going to go to Mark Andrews before the play even started. Um, but then the play started, and then they showed the replay, too. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, he had Mark Andrews. And, again, the quarterback, they don't always see everything. They don't always see everything. They don't always see the whole field. So I'm not expecting him to have, like, 20-20 vision all the time around the whole field or whatnot, but... Um, yeah, Mark Andrews, he, he was in a good position to try to make a play, and, but he threw to Deshaun Jackson. He threw, so he, he threw short. See, that's, and that's situational stuff, man. That's um, Tyler Huntley situationally. It was like, ooh, what's going on? There was, um, I forgot when it was in the game. There was a, I think it was a third down. Yeah. It was, a, oh, was it right before halftime? It might have. It was either right before halftime, or no, maybe it wasn't right before halftime. There was a third, third down, and like maybe maybe not third. It was either third and seven from third and nine, something like that. Ravens, they ran. Uh, they had they had Tyler Huntley keep it. Oh, I think it was right before halftime. Was it? I, I, anyway, I don't even remember. Um, they had him keep it. They, and I was like, man, are, are y'all really like trying to go for points? Are oh, y'all trying to go for it? Oh, that was it. It was right before halftime because it was like, how much seconds was that? I think it was 12 seconds left. They had a timeout, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I thought that they were really going to try to go for points, go for like a touchdown. But they settled. And then there was another drive where it was like third and nine or seven, I think. What did they do? Like a jet sweep? I think they did a jet sweep. They did something silly. And it was just like, it was such a, a give up play. It was such like a, a play like, all right, well, it was like they gave up before. They didn't even try to get the first down. I was like, man, like, what's, what's that about? Now, there was one really, really nice third down that I didn't think was going to work, and it did, to where I think they had an empty backfield, um, and they, Tyler Huntley was in a shotgun. They brought Justice Hill in motion, snapped the ball, and Tyler Huntley pitched it to him. He did like a shovel pass to him. Justice Hill caught it. And then he ran and got the first down. So it was like sort of like a screenplay, a little shovel screenplay or whatever. But it, it was nice. It worked out really good. And I was like, whoa, I said, where, where did this come from? I loved it. I loved it. But, um, yeah, that was that. Uh, but, yeah, yesterday the offense, Mark Andrews, he, he had a couple of drops. He had one where he caught it, but then I think it was – Josh Johnson, um, that safety, he knocked it out. Mark Andrews' hand. Mark Andrews caught it. He's like, yeah, 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 that safety came. Pow! Knocked it right out. Um, so that was the end of that play. Um, what else? Well, we already talked about J.K. Gus. Uh, mm, the Marcus Robinson, the the ball security or lack thereof, it, 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 it was bad yesterday. And, and it, it, it was bad before it was even bad because – during our stream, we talked about it. There were some other people that talked about it, too. Um, how It was scary how he was holding the ball because he would like be holding the ball like way out here and stuff. And then it would, it would look like it was getting ready to come out. It was like, whoa, hold up now, buddy. Then it got knocked out. I think twice. I think twice. So that was, uh, that was just sad. But, yeah, that was offense in a nutshell. I'm trying to remember if I – I think I covered everything. I think we did. Um, the game went by crazy fast because both teams were just running the ball. Well, I mean, the clock was moving. Ravens stopped running the ball a lot. But, uh, 
Yeah, the the game went by really, really fast. One of the fastest games ever. Definitely the fastest first quarter I've ever seen. It felt like that first quarter lasted about five minutes. Um, but yeah, special teams. Oh, special teams. What is going on with Duvernay? Can anybody tell me what's going on with Duvernay? I don't know what's going on with Duvernay. Something is off. Something seems to be way off, especially on return, in the return game. He is not the same Duvernay. That he, he is less decisive. He is he's very indecisive. He seems to be unsure of himself in the return. He it, something is way off with Devin Duvernay. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Um. Uh. Oh, but special teams. Justin Tucker. It was sad because um, when we were doing a live stream, Justin Tucker kicked the field goal. He missed it, and then a lot of people were like, "Oh, we lost." They said, "Oh, we lost." Cause they're like, every, every time Justin Tucker missed a field goal. We lose that game. I think this year, I think he missed against the Giants. Um, he missed the one against the Jaguars, but that was like, it was a 67 yard, and that was at the very end of the game. And, uh, was, uh, but he did miss it technically, but that, that, that's different because the situation and whatnot. Um, I know there's some other game where he missed it too this year, but anyway. Um, the, and the only ones I can remember off the top of my head before that he missed. I know there's more, but it was the Bills game, the playoff game in 2020, and then 2018, the, the game where Lamar got his first touchdown against the Saints, um, or his first regular season touchdown, and it was against the Saints, that game where he missed the extra point. Um, but anyway, Justin Tucker, he missed, uh, had, and had a field goal blocked. Had a field goal blocked. I said, whoa, that's, that's painful, man. That's painful because on them blocked field goals, you, 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 just, you never get to see what it could have been. Because it got blocked. So it never get you, you can't even see, oh, if I got it the distance, if it was accurate enough, if it was long enough. You can't even see that because it got blocked. So that's tough. But, um, so, yeah, rough day at the office for special teams. Justin Tucker tried to say this loss was on him. <laughs> no, sir. This loss was not on you, Justin Tucker. Now, had those field goals been made, all right, cool. It would have been a closer game. It could, stuff could have been different. But this loss was not on Justin Tucker at all. I mean, he contributed. Well, can okay, I say the offensive line for not holding it up? I mean, well, he didn't miss a field goal too. That didn't get blocked. But this loss was not on Justin Tucker. <laughs> yeah, no, like he he did have a little piece in it, but not much at all. It, this was this was offense. This this was the offense for sure. Uh, defense. Um, they nobody really like stood out like that on defense, but they they held it down. Thirteen points, man. Thirteen points, like. If your defense is holding people to 13 points, oof, 13 points? Come on now. Like, you said, that's great. That's great. And even times when the, the, the Browns were moving the ball, and even the, the touchdown that the Ravens gave up, uh, it was like, it was a good play by the Browns. I know Patrick Queen, he like sort of over pursued a little bit, sort of missed a but hey, they gave it up. Okay, cool. 13 points. A touchdown and two field goals. That's it. That is it. That's it. Amari Cooper, Deshaun Watson, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, David Njoku, Donovan People Jones. 13 points. Kevin Stefanski. 13 points. Defense did their job. Patrick Queen and Adafi away. They shared a sack. Um, Calais Campbell. Oh, man, he's hurt. So we got to see about that. I'm sure we'll hear more about that on... Uh, Monday, well, you'll be seeing this on Monday, so I'm sure we'll hear about it later on. Then, um, who else got a sack? It was uh, Patrick Queen and Dafay away. They shared one. And there were two more. Let me, you know, let me just look it up. I'm over here trying to use my brain. And, you know, that, that don't work half the time. Um, oh, Brent Urban got one. I don't remember that one. Uh, oh, and Kyle Hamilton. Yeah, Kyle Hamilton got a nice one. I forgot about Kyle Hamilton. The pass rusher. We, uh, we trying to tell people, hey, Kyle Hamilton is a pass rusher. We trying to tell him. He is. He is. Shout out to him. Um, Kyle Hamilton, he had an up and down game. Um, gave up. Uh, he missed a the tackle. They ended up with well, Brown ended up getting some yak. Uh, but he did get a sack. Um, he gave up a couple catches, but it was an up and down game. Uh, but again, defense, they held it down. They held it down. Uh, again, 13 points. <laughs> like, what, what else could you ask for? 13 points. So, that was that. So, Ravens lost. Again, it's not even that Ravens did lose that people frustrated about. It's the way that it happened, the way that they lost. 
And it's the fact that um, they, they could have lost in so much better fashion than they did. And I mean, a loss is a loss, whether it's pretty, whether it's ugly. But when you recognize stuff that's working and you literally go away from it, that's unacceptable. So this loss, like, to me, it really falls on coaching big time. It really does. It really does. Starts with Harbaugh, goes to Giro. Mike McDonald, you you are just fine in this game. You ain't got nothing to worry about. The 13 points, you're fine. But where's that accountability? You, it, it, It's got to be better. It's got to be better. Because um, you literally, like, worst run defense by far that you were going up against. Terrible. Like, and, and what's crazy is that last week, this is what I talk about with the inconsistencies with the Ravens offense. Last week, they went against the Steelers. Steelers are better run defense than the Browns. But Ravens kept running that ball. And they literally, they ran the victory with it. Ran the victory with it. Um, and they stuck with it. And they won. Somebody pointed out how in the last Browns game, they said Lamar threw like 16 passes. Why? Because the run game was going so good. The run game was going just fine. And now in this game... It seemed like the run game was going even better than it was in the Lamar Browns game from the, the last time the Ravens and Browns played. And they just stopped. Doesn't make sense. But anyway, love y'all. Team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Uh, and just like the Ravens are when it comes to, at least during this recording, if the Bucks win, <laughs> I don't think they will, but I hope they, 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 that they do. But if the Bucks win, then the Ravens will move back. But for now... Just like the Ravens are when it comes to being first place in the AFC North. We out.